Today's video will be on how to keep a pet snail. I know that's kind of weird. You might be thinking, okay, why would I want to keep a pet snail? But, um, I mean a slug, I mean a slug. But, um, some people do enjoy these little critters like me. And, um, so I'm going to tell you some things on how to keep one of these little boogers today. Um, so I have the pin for mine right here. And you may be wondering how does it breathe because it's in that. But, um, I'll get to that later. And I am going to have a bigger kennel for this. So it'll be more like home to her. And just keep in mind, I am a snail sanctuary, and I am going to lease them. Like, I do stuff. I get slugs on dry days to help them and stuff. And then it's back moisturized outside. I release them again. Um, so, my first slug here is Millie. I don't see her at the moment, but if she comes out during the video, I'll show you. Well, um, here is step one on how to keep how to keep a pet slug. Step one. Make sure it can breathe. If it's in a container like mine. And if you're going to. Um, and if you're going to build it a bigger cage. Make sure it has breathing holes. But if it's in a cage like mine. Make sure it can breathe, and I'll show you how to do that if it's in a kennel like mine. So, you're going to take the lid, and you're going to put it on just like this. Don't snap it yet. Don't snap it in yet. And you're going to go one, two, three, snap. You're going to snap it in three times on each side, exactly like this. And there should be a very tiny crack right here. So your slug can't slip out and stuff. And that's how you make it a nice little breathing hole. Um, if it's in a container like mine. Which it will get a bigger house. So I advise that. So it's still like in it's old home and stuff. And it's in a bigger cage. Okay. Step two. Keep it moisturized. So you're gonna have to keep it moisturized and moisturized in your still snail's home. As you can see, mine is already moisturized. But the reason why you need to keep it so moisturized is because slugs can't live without sand, um, water and stuff like that. Moisturized. If I just keep saying snail, forgive me. Same thing with the snail, really. But keep it moisturized. Take a bottle like this that sprays like that, so very lightly, that way it don't drown your slug and it still has water and stuff. You're gonna spray it in, exactly like that. So this is the hardest part of keeping a slug, because you have to make sure everything gets wet, but you also have to do it like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, after every 30 minutes in a day. So that's the really hard part about keeping one. So, I'm just going to advise you that is going to be hard. But, um, it's very easy to keep a pet slug. It's not messy unless you get the dirt everywhere. So, don't do, don't get their cage ready in your house. I mean, if you've done it, it's, I'm sorry, but it's just stupid. Just don't. Because you might be yelled at, it, or if you're an adult watching this, um, still, it'll make a mess. But, um. And your parents might not let you keep the slug if your kid's watching this bump. So I advise you put it outside. It's it's better anyways. So you don't make too much of a mess. Okay, step number four. What to feed your slug? So how to feed feed your slug? Um, some slugs, um, eat other slugs and stuff and carry on, but this is not the type of slug you're going to find in your normal home, if you do find it like a normal slug. Um, so, 
they'll eat live plants. Obviously, these are not live, so I didn't give this to eat. But I also heard they eat lichen. And lichen is very easy to find if you have some bark that are peeled off of your trees. Um, this is what it will look like. And that right there, that green stuff, that is lichen. And that is what they can eat. So, that, I just have that in there for her. And, fun fact, if you're keeping a pet moth, they can eat rotten fruits. So, I had some rotted fruits um, that we had busted and stuff for fun. Well, they weren't rotted in the first place. We just busted them for fun. But, um, and then uh, we caught pet moths later, and we put that in their cages, and they ate that, which we released the moths afterwards. But, um... Yes. Fifth step. Make sure they have a home like they would in the wild. And to make sure it is cool in their cage. So what I'm doing to keep it cold in their cage is using cold. I mean, well, kind of cool water, not too cold in here. That's what I'm using to moisturize it. Keeping it cool and stuff. But, um, and also, make sure you keep it like it would be outside. So, keep it kind of, I put some mud in here, sort of like dirt mud kind of thing. Then I put some grass in here, which I'm going to have to replace the grass over time because it will die. But, um, yes. And... The last rule is be nice. Don't play rough with your snail. If you decide to get your sn slug out for any reason uh, to play with it, don't be rough. They're very sensitive little creatures. Their skin is very, very sensitive. And yes, please just don't play rough if you decide to get them out and play with it. So that is the end of today. So um, today's video. And my slug's name is Millie, fun fact. Um, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. Bye, you guys. Oops, gotta get over a breathing hole. One of the five, one of the six steps. There was a little breathing hole. <laughs> Bye.